excited about this. This is a DIY project that we've been working on in the background for quite some time. Uh, we, we've been leveraging other project designs that are happening also in the background as, as part of uh, some of the technology and build out that we are doing here. So there's the front view of this loudspeaker, uh, calling it right now the Circa 1931. It is designed as a DIY project even though it is quite complex, it has been engineered in a way to allow it to be built on a kitchen table. No band saws, no table saws, you don't even need a router or a soldering iron on this thing. Uh, we will make the plans available for download, so if you do have a, a router or a table, a table saw, you're welcome to you know, make it yourself. Uh, but you're, we, we think that most of us uh, are going to be buying this as a kit of parts. You'll get a stack of parts, both hardware and wood plate and you glue the thing up. We'll be doing the instructional videos on that as we move forward. Uh, we have built a few pair of these. There's a, a few different versions of it out there. There's A, B, and C. As you can see, this one is version C. But there's a silver pair that exist on the West Coast that are being uh, experimented with. There's a pair here in the shop. Rotating the view now so you can see a little bit about what's going on. There's uh, significant uh, webbing detail on this. So the superstructuring of the cabinet is is quite thorough despite a very simple layout pattern. Uh, and, uh, and the layout pattern also aids in the construction. You can see that there are a lot of interesting details both in the cabinet and also happening in the full range driver assembly. Yes, that's a 15-inch woofer. It's based on the Eminence Kappa Light 15 LF. There are some cone modifications that we're doing on that. The, uh, the port assembly on this, or the port length, port tuning, is um, it's maximal width and minimal length, uh, but uh, it, it isn't significantly causing group delay numbers to get uh, out of hand. The group delay or the timing on the, on the loudspeaker is, is quite fantastic, about three milliseconds, not including the port. If you add the port resonance uh, or, or its group delay, it adds another 10 milliseconds of group delay, which is still pretty dang tight. Uh, the driver assembly is designed that if you so choose, you don't like uh, port, even though this is going to be a very nice clean, it's a big box. It's going to be a very clean sound. Uh, still, if you want to stuff this with foam, it will come with a foam plug, and the, the, the driver within this volume of air is still not going to be over damp, even when completely sealed up. So that's a, a nice overview. Uh, yeah, we're excited to offer this as a DIY and move forward on some of these DIY designs, designs that normally don't fit within the zoo uh, platform of product, this is a way we can take some of these designs that we're having fun with and, uh, and let you guys have some, uh, some fun and experiment with them as well. So the next part of this video is going to be talking more about the drivers and some of the interesting stuff that we've got going on, especially in the full range section of this guy and the radiant tweeter that is bolted on actually it's not bolted on it's a it's a, it's an interesting assembly and we'll get into that in part two of this video